I'm Malang Daria. I work as a cook and also as a guide for tourists. I'm Afiat Khan. My father was a guide and accompanied tourists on the mountain. I'm Amrudin. Without our cattle, we couldn't survive in the Wakan Valley. My first name is Gurg Ali and my family name is Keka. My father's name is Murak Beg. 35 years ago, Afghanistan was a country without problems. Many tourists came to the region. We want to plant our flag on the summit of Mount Noshak for the honor of our country. Are you happy to come to school in winter? Yes. Good. Who would like to become a mountaineer later? You all want to become mountaineers? That's very good. Have you heard of Mount Noshak? No. You've never heard that name? It's not very far from here. It's the highest mountain in Afghanistan. 7,492 meters above sea level. No Afghan has ever reached the summit. With the help of God and our friends, we will be the first Afghans to set foot on the summit of Mount Nosha. There are four climbers from the Wakan taking part in this expedition. Me, Malang, Afyad Khan and Amrudin. Do you think we'll succeed? Yes, probably. Would you pray for us? Yes. Good. We'll be very disappointed if we don't reach the summit of Noshak, because we've done a lot of training. I hope we'll make it. The tigers of Wakan are men of the mountains, but they're not climbers. They have never climbed a mountain. But an expedition on this scale takes a lot of preparation. At very high altitude, a mistake or a moment's hesitation can carry a high price. Before trying to conquer Mount Noshak, we've come to Chamonix. We're taking a course at ENSA, the National Ski and Mountaineering School, to familiarize ourselves with snow, ice and rock techniques. With two experienced instructors, Jean and Simon, we make a few climbs into the Mont Blanc Massif. Jean and Simon will also accompany the expedition. I've organized more than 30 expeditions uh, in Himalaya. And uh, uh, avalanche, it's, uh, it's very important to take care about uh, the snow condition. The danger in mountain is sure that uh, high altitude is very dangerous because uh, your, your mind is not working like in low altitude. If your hand is like this, it took a long time to change, especially if you have a big glove. Okay, like, turn and change. Okay? But when you turn, it's the most dangerous part because you have, to, you have the rope around you, you have to change. So now I don't want to see any slings or rope on your uh, eyes. And also if you bring like this and you walk. Tigers of Wakan, to the top of Noshak. The main danger is the high altitude. Because of the lack of oxygen. But at 7,492 meters, Noshak is nearly 3,000 meters higher than Mont Blanc. It's a slightly crazy undertaking and the Western media are taking an interest. It's a chance to talk about Afghanistan in an unexpected way.
the departure date has been fixed. Final preparations are made in Kabul. The bazaar in Kabul is a, a city within the city. It's divided up according to trades, so I know where to find dry fruits, rope, plastic sheeting, but I don't know about the latest arrivals. The problem is that we only have a few hours to finish everything. It's a bit tight. It hasn't been easy to organize an expedition like this one. With financial, administrative, logistical and bureaucratic difficulties, the work and preparation has taken a year. We had to find supporters and sponsors to convince the authorities to bring mountaineering equipment over from Europe. By the end, I feel like I've climbed Mount Everest before even starting the attempt on Noshak. How much is this? 550 Afghanis. We have about 1,500 kilograms of equipment that will divide into loads of 20 kilograms, which the porters will carry to base camp. That way, there'll be no arguments about the division of the loads. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Salam alaikum. How are you? Ah, oh, Farin. Can I look at the spikes? There are 12, aren't there? Do you think we'll make it? It's a big challenge, but Afghans never fail. We always succeed. This region hasn't been affected by the war, which has torn apart the rest of the country in the last 30 years. The people here are peaceful. They don't want to fight. Tourists can come to the Wakan Valley without danger. They won't have any problems. We're all Ismaili Muslims. Our law forbids us to fight. We behave like brothers and sisters. We don't have rules that say that women must wear the burqa or that they can't work. For Ismailis, men and women are equal.